I've got a lot of updates for you guys today. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I am giving you guys some big updates on the baby, on me, and on our new home. So today I went in for my regular checkup as well as my glucose test, which is like the gestational diabetes test. With Aubrey, I failed this the first time. I passed the three hour exam, but her NICU nurses kind of said they don't really trust the three hour exam because of like how, she, how big she was and all of that stuff. So I was really hoping to pass this test today, but I also went in kind of thinking like, it's not gonna happen. I'm probably gonna fail. I'm probably gonna have to like really cut back on a bunch of stuff and whatever. So they told me I didn't have to fast. I ate like three eggs for breakfast just because I knew I was gonna be there for a while. And I ended up being there for a while. My doctor was running late. So I was like sitting there in the waiting room for two hours between taking my glucose test and then going in for my normal like 10 minute checkup. So anyways, during the checkup, um, Jack's heart rate was 150. So he's measuring, you know, at least in that number, healthy and normal. He's also been kicking me a lot and I will show you guys a video. Sorry, it's my belly. I don't know how many people are grossed out by that, but it will be on the side of the screen here. Uh, I was able to catch some of his kicks on video and this is just kind of a new experience for me because of where my placenta is. The, with Aubrey, my first time around, I had an anterior placenta, which is kind of where the placenta is on the outer edge of the uterus, kind of blocking your the kicks from really being exposed on your belly. So I didn't get to really see the kicks as much. It Definitely towards the end of my pregnancy, but not this early for sure. So it's a fun experience to just kind of see Jack move around a little bit more and to be able to show other people as well. And I'm excited and kind of nervous for when he gets bigger and maybe seeing like his foot or his hand kind of reaching out through my belly. That'll be a new experience for me. And if you guys want to see that, let me know. So as far as the pregnancy is going, my lower back is absolutely killing me. It's in pain pretty much all day, especially when I wake up. By the time I get ready to go to bed, it's like not really hurting, but it still hurts. And then when I wake up and I haven't moved for a while, it's extra painful. So I'm gonna try to find some like yoga positions or stretches or something that will hopefully alleviate it. My sister-in-law gave me like a deep tissue massaging gun that will hopefully help as well, but I could use some prayers regarding that. And before I move on to our house updates, I wanted to let you guys know how the results of my gestational diabetes test went. I got the update on my phone just a little while ago and I was like, before I opened it, I was like, okay, be ready, I'm gonna fail or whatever. And the measurement was 130, which I looked online, if it's under 140, that means that you passed and you don't have to take the three hour exam. And I literally cried out of happiness. I was not expecting to pass. And I'm just really grateful and thankful that that is the case. And I don't have to maybe worry as much as I did with Aubrey. I have no updates regarding the location of my placenta. Um, I mentioned in a previous video that it's partial placenta previa, which if it stays low and close to my cervix, I'll probably need another C-section. And I just kind of want some prayers for clarity as to whether a VBAC is even an option or if I should just schedule a C-section and maybe have a more pleasant birthing experience than I did with Aubrey. But yeah, there's no updates on that yet. Um, in four weeks, I'll be having an ultrasound and we're gonna see where my placenta is, if it's moved, if not, and hopefully get some answers on that. Today, I also, one last update is I scheduled a um, cardiology appointment to meet with a new cardiologist to see if my heart is literally getting bigger <laughs> during this pregnancy like it did for my first. What I had was called peripartum cardiomyopathy. It's where your heart is enlarged. It's why I had a lot of fluid in my legs. Um, I mentioned this all in a previous video over a year ago, I'm sure. 
Um, and I have a whole little series on why I was afraid to be pregnant again. So if you didn't watch those, you can go check that out for more information. But yeah, we'll see when I finally meet with the cardiologist in November, how things are going and what to look out for and stuff like that. So as far as our house goes, Juan and I went a couple weeks ago into the studio to kind of finalize all of our little designs and little, you know, personalizations of our home. If we wanted to add an extra outlet or an extra light or a fan, we did all of that a couple weeks ago. And we picked all of our countertops, our hardware, our backsplash, our cabinets, our flooring and our carpet. So I will show you guys kind of what we picked. It looks a little more brown, I think the floor at least, when looking with the cork background, but I'm really excited. We were going kind of for a, like a modern farmhouse and I was kind of bummed. So the hardware that we were able to pick, I really wanted black, but the black hardware that they had was kind of too chunky looking in my opinion. I wanted the shape of this kind of chrome finish one but in black and they didn't have that. So I just wanted to go with something that I felt would be more comfortable to open up. And, um, you know, if we ever want to change it in the future, I know we can. I'm really excited to see how our house turns out. They actually like broke ground or whatever this past Monday. It's a Wednesday, so just two days ago. And really all that they did, I guess, was like move some stuff off the plot of land and put in some like sticks in the ground. But Hey, it's a start and I got some footage from Juan, which I'm showing you guys right now. <laughs> kind of doesn't look like much, but I'm excited to kind of show you guys the process as we go and we're gonna be getting weekly updates. So when anything like major happens, we'll drive out there, we'll film it and let you guys kind of know what's happening with our home. I'd like to thank you guys for, you know, dropping on by, checking in and seeing how we're all doing. I'd like to ask for prayers for a continued healthy pregnancy and for my back pain to be eased up a bit. So I appreciate your prayers. I'd like to thank you again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new and just stumbling upon my update video for the first time. I'd love to have you stick around. Have an awesome day. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.